guys, Abby here from Ballerines by Night. Today I'm going to bring you just a short, easy stretching video that will be beneficial for kind of opening the hips, which will also help our turnout when we're in class and our overall flexibility. Many times we hold a lot of tension in our hips, so hopefully this will really help you and help your turnout and help your classwork. So each stretch we do today, we're going to hold for 45 seconds. The first stretch is just our basic butterfly. Now this is almost everyone's go-to stretch, but what we want to make sure of is one, that we're getting our heels very close to us. You can also push your heels up a little bit, which is going to make the hips stretch a little bit more. And so that's what I'm going to do. We're going to hold that for 45 seconds. If this is a very easy stretch for you and your legs are down, then you should take your body forward and stretch out that way. Ready? once on the right and once on the left. So we're just going to put our right foot on our left knee. You want to make sure you're really pushing the knee down. You're going to lie all the way back. Hands go underneath. We're going to gently pull this up, but we do not want hips coming off the floor. So it's just as much as we can pull with the knee pushing down without letting that come up. Setting our timer. right over left and then we'll switch and go left over right. So we want our left leg, not like we were in butterfly, not so far out, cross in front of the body. And then we want to put this heel on our knee. So not just toes, because that will make the stretch really easy, but put the heel all the way over. Now, ideally we want this knee to go down to our other heel, which is if your hips are tight is very, very difficult. You want to really breathe through this and also to get a little bit more of a release, you can go forward and up. So again, if this is very easy and your knee goes down, add in a forward bend because that will give you more of a stretch. If it's more difficult like this, you can do just a little forward to 
to help release and then come back up and it should go just a little bit farther. But otherwise you can also just sit in the stretch like this. So I'm starting our timer. yoga and we're gonna pull one leg up and again we're trying to keep a really lengthened back which can be really difficult with this stretch we're gonna put our right heel into our left elbow we're gonna pull up we're bringing our right arm around here so it's like we're kind of cradling our leg and you want to try and have a straight back and pull the leg up as much as you can and we'll do both sides. up a little bit. For our next stretch, you'll need a bar or a counter. It does not have to be as high as this. Something a little lower will work just as well. If you're in a studio where you have a top bar and a bottom bar, you might want to do this on the bottom bar. In fact, you probably will unless you're just someone who naturally has very open hips. We're going to put our right leg up. The left can be turned out or parallel. It doesn't really make a huge difference but you're gonna put your heel up 
and you want to make sure your hips are very square. And then, so this is basically like an attitude position, but we're just exaggerating it a little bit. Now again, if you're very loose, you can go forward and add that in. But if you're not like me, just staying in this will really, really, really help release. So I'm going to start our timer. Try to keep lifted on the supporting leg. stretching video. I really hope this helps you release those hips. If we sit a lot, which of course a lot of us have to do, it's easy for these muscles to get very tight. So this should just help be a gentle stretching video that can be done many days a week before you go to class to help get warmed up and open hips up or after class to stretch out. That's very important too. So please Click like, subscribe, find us on Facebook and Instagram, and that's all for today. Bye!